What's up guys, this is Smirk Music, and today I'm smirking because we have some Call of Duty 2020 leaks. Still no trailer, still no official news, but we do have some leaked details about like the modes, features, maps, all pertaining to Call of Duty 2020. Hopefully whatever terrifying face I made at the beginning of the video won't scare you guys off because we actually have some facts, we have some information today. The real crazy thing about this is that this information is not coming from our number one source, Charlotte Intelligence. It's actually coming from another Call of Duty YouTuber known as Exclusive Ace. Charlotte is saying that he posted a video saying that a source showed him actual gameplay, video footage, map overview and all kinds of stuff from Call of Duty 2020 itself. He's not revealing exactly who his source is, but it's someone who tests the game and is part of QA. Whoever was testing this game and does quality assurance doesn't even know the name of the game. But as we scroll down, there's a ton of information that definitely points towards this game being Call of Duty 2020. So here we go. Right off the bat, COD 2020 is going to have zombies, a campaign, multiplayer, and Warzone is going to be back in COD 2020. The 2020 game is in fact set during the Cold War era, so this is most likely going to be a Black Ops game. I think that's the final nail in the coffin for the possibility of this game being infinite Warfare 2. It's most likely going to be a Black Ops type game. Game is, quote, actually in a good state with multiplayer maps almost done. But isn't the game going to release in like a couple months? I mean, that's a little terrifying, isn't it? Campaign is, quote, fully playable state, but not all the animations are complete yet. I feel like this actually kind of makes more sense since we're no longer on a three-year cycle. We're going to be, I think, back to technically a two-year cycle with Treyarch and Infinity War taking turns on Call of Duty. So yeah, I guess this actually kind of makes a little bit more sense. He says there will be a new map for Warzone with the 2020 game and says he's seen an overview of the new Warzone map. I kind of had a feeling this is going to be the case since Warzone is technically free to play and standalone separate from Modern Warfare. It would make sense that support for Warzone would continue and would actually move into the next Call of Duty game. It says your standard minimap is back similar to previous Call of Duty games prior to Modern Warfare. So in Modern Warfare, you can choose between a square or circle minimap, but I think this has more to do with how people show up on it. Oh, it's also saying here that with the standard minimap coming back, there is also a compass which was introduced in Modern Warfare. Hopefully what all of this means is that when you shoot an unsilenced weapon, you will show up on the minimap just like the OG Call of Duty games. I'm not 100% sure on what else would have to change with the minimap, map, but you know, people want the classic one to come back. The swimming mechanic returns and there will be water and multiplayer maps alongside water in the new Warzone map. Treyarch, Fondy, if that's the case, we better be getting some god tier fish AI. Better have some dope, dope koi ponds, mother. Unlimited sprint is back. Okay, so that's good for rushing. I like that. No interact doors in regular multiplayer. The mechanic is going to stay in Warzone. It's official guys, rip modern door fare. This ain't no Call of Duty door ops. It will be Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Remaster boot. I can't wait until we actually set on an official name for this game. 10 multiplayer maps are apparently developed so far. If they had to put apparently. More of them are probably in the works. They're Treyarch style maps, so I'm guessing this is gonna be three lane for multiplayer. One map is quote very small and a boat on the Black Sea. Okay. Tank, which is the map that was shown in the leaked gameplay. Okay, so that was the map that we saw. There was a small little leak where there was some assault rifle gameplay on like a map. Apparently it's called Tank now. I had briefly talked about it as well. It was nothing too crazy, but it was just like this tiny snippet that we got to see. No specialist, but a field upgrade like features returning. I gotta say, I do like that. Specialists in Black Ops 4 were very depressing. They were basically just a a nerfed version of the Black Ops 3 Specialist. They were not as much fun. The field upgrades in Modern Warfare are pretty nice. I kind of wish that they would expand upon that in Modern Warfare. I hope that we get some new ones soon because it does add some variety and it expands on the gameplay in the game. He says that you get one piece of equipment to choose from. I'm guessing this has to do with choosing between like a grenade or a stun grenade, lethal versus non-lethal. If I'm not mistaken, didn't Call of Duty World War II do that? But then later on, they undid that and you could have both. Oh God. What can we agree upon as a community would be the right thing to do? I think we should have both. And then typically with certain perks, you can expand upon that and maybe have more non-lethals or have more lethal grenades. But let's move on. It says score streaks are going to return, so it's not going to be kill streaks. I kind of figured that was going to be the case since Treyarch kind of pioneered score streaks. There is no dead silence in the game at this time. It's not a perk. He cannot confirm how footstep audio is right now. <laughs> I feel like the topic of footsteps and having dead silence is one of the most controversial things when it comes to the gameplay. Because with Modern Warfare, if your footsteps are too loud, people are going to be like, well, I can't move around the map because everyone can hear me, so then I'm going to camp. But Modern Warfare has dead silence, so you can basically move around the map without making any noise and and still rush around and be stealthy. And it does work pretty well. For the most part, people aren't going to be able to hear you unless they blast their eardrums in their headset. If you're watching this and you're one of those people, you need to calm the f*** <laughs> down. Because this whole kind of conversation here drives people insane. Footstep audio is very tricky. There should be some kind of like baseline footstep audio and then potentially a perk that can silence it and then a perk that can raise the sound of it for enemies. But as far as it goes for how loud the feet are, that is a very hard balance to master. And given Treyarch's track record, there is most likely going to be some form of dead silence in the game. Just not at the moment. 150 health, similar to Black Ops for, but it has auto heal. Okay. Yikes. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> Again, I haven't even played this game. This is just some information that we know about the game, but I do want to say right off the bat with 150 health, as long as armor doesn't come back, that's okay. But 150 health is higher. It means that the gunfights are going to last a little bit longer. Some people make the argument that having more health allows you to rush around because you can't get insta-killed as often, but you have to understand that having more than 150 health is not necessarily that much like the older Call of Duty games, unless you ran Juggernaut. And if you pick Jug over stopping power, you're an ass. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But 
But yeah, we'll have to see how this all plays out. Creative class is unique. It's a hybrid between pick 10 and the classic no gunsmith. Oh, come on. I feel like as we're going down the list, it's just becoming more of a bummer. <laughs> just a little bit because I personally love the gunsmith in Modern Warfare. I think it was a great addition. The gunsmith in Modern Warfare is unique, not some kind of hybrid between pick 10 and classic. That's just old. I'm gonna try to pump the brakes a little bit because I feel like I'm getting too heated and a little too opinionated. I don't even know how this is gonna play out, but I'm just gonna shut up and when I get a chance to play the game, we'll judge it from there. 6v6 is standard player count. There is no gunfight mode. Okay. Glad to see 6v6 back as a standard player count as far as it goes for no gunfight. I mean, it's kind of a take it or leave it thing for me, but I know for a fact that there are people who like to play gunfight and they're probably gonna miss that. So you might be staying on Modern Warfare for another year. There is quote, apparently a mode in multiplayer that takes place on various sections of the new Warzone map. Ooh. I personally have been dying for Call of Duty to have something like Call of Duty Online's PVE modes. If that's what they're doing, that would be amazing, but you never know. It could just be like Spec Ops from Modern Warfare survival mode, but we'll have to wait and see. The new Warzone map apparently takes place in Russia. <laughs> I like how it has to say at the bottom, as always, this information is not fully confirmed as of now. One map is very small and it's a boat on the Black Sea, Hijack 2020. I mean, it could be, but I wouldn't necessarily classify Hijacked as a very small map. Shipment is a very small map. Hijacked is just like regular small. I wanted to check out some stuff on the Modern Warfare subreddit as well. Oh my God. This is me pulling up to the new Warzone Russia map in Call of Duty 2020. Igor's walking around the map like an ultra wide baby. Grenade go bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Holy shit, what? How did that bonk that dude off? Okay, so I'm not trying to scare you, but how did this happen? Where did, where does this, where does this exist? I hope this has something to do with Juggernaut Royale. <laughs> oh man, that would be a pretty cool tier 100 skin if soap comes into the game. I like that. That'd be really cool. The lack of map differentiation is killing my will to play. Dude, that is an everyday struggle with Modern Warfare. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for Call of Duty 2020 leaks and information. So I'm just going to end the video there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about the Call of Duty 2020 leaks, what I think about it. Make sure to leave a comment letting me know what you guys think about the Call of Duty 2020 leaks so far, and also some more names for goofy intros that you can call me. And with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for a COD 2020 trailer, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Ah!